All right, so we are, I, I will be using the college alcohol study data set to do a paired samples t test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use these two variables, father use of alcohol and mother use of alcohol. And I want to see if there is a um, significant difference between the two or if it is that um, persons whose parents use alcohol are also, um, or whether if, if one parent uses alcohol, if um, the, the, it's likely that the, 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 the other parent would also use alcohol. So again, this is the peer sample t-test. So here I will go to analyze, compare means, and I will select paired samples t-test. And I will find my variables that I would like to use. I'm going to use father use, and I'm also going to use mother use as my variable too, right? And I'm just checking my options to make sure that everything is fine, which it is. Um, as I noted before, I'm going to paste. And then I will run it from the syntax. Okay, so um, as you're seeing here, this is pretty similar to what you would have um, seen in the lecture slides. As you can see, um, the mean um, score for father use of alcohol was 3.98. Um, the, the score for mother use of alcohol was 3.43. So we see the father use being higher. Um, the, the correlation between father and mother use is actually 0.432 which is a significant correlation, but this would be called probably a moderate correlation depending on which author you look at in terms of how they would rank the correlations. Um, note here that um, the mean difference between the two means would have been 0.549. Um, the T value is 37.651. The F8161, which is N minus one, as we see here, degrees of uh, the N is actually um, 8162. We have one pair here, so it's 8161 minus, uh, 8162 minus one, which would give you 8161, which is the degrees of freedom. We see here that this, there is, um, there is um, a significant result here. We see that this sink is, or P is 0 0.000, which is less than our alpha cutoff, or desired alpha cutoff of 0 0.05, which would indicate that um, the responses given we had where their, um, the, 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 the means were not the same, they were actually significantly different than each other. And we saw where, um, the, the, the father use um, as reported by respondents was significantly higher than mother use as reported by respondents, right? So pretty simple and straightforward, the paired samples t-test. Again, you would use two related responses by the same person. Um, and so the person would have, persons would have had to answer both questions in order to qualify to be a part of this test, all right? So this is the paired samples t-test.